This is the weather forecast video for Wednesday, May the 9th, 2012. Taking a look at the satellite image from last evening, you can see some cloudiness extending from New England through the mid-Atlantic down into the south and Texas in the southwest with some showers and thunderstorms in that area with fairly clear skies to our north. Watch warning map was fairly quiet across the country. Uh, frost advisory in Nebraska down into northern Kansas. Otherwise, it's fairly quiet across the country outside of a few river flood warnings here and there. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock shows some decent amounts of rain in Texas, upwards of four inches down by Brownsville, and even some heavy rain along the east coast and into New England. Let's take a look at the 0Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, a trough axis to our east and an upper level feature over the northern parts of Mexico. And we have some showers moving away. The model wants to bring some around today. Uh, probably not likely to happen. Can't rule it out, but mostly sunny skies even into Thursday. With a storm system running up the east coast, a disturbance over west Texas, and another cold front coming through into Montana that'll affect us by the weekend. Here on Friday, the front will be moving into the plains and upper midwest. Could see some increasing cloudiness, especially by Friday afternoon over the northwestern counties as moisture begins to build up in Texas and it runs up. The front kind of dies here on Saturday, but we can't rule out an isolated shower or storm early. It's mainly going to be a Friday night into Saturday morning. By Saturday afternoon, it should be clearing. Temperatures by this point will be back up into the 70s, even here on Sunday. Some showers and thunderstorms off to our east. We remain, well, partly to mostly sunny with 70s. Even into Monday, showers, thunderstorms in the Ohio, Tennessee Valley into the south. From the Mississippi River west, it is completely dry and seasonably warm with 70s. And into Tuesday, still some shower activity from the e along, all up and down the east coast. Mississippi River westward still remaining mainly dry and sunny with highs in the 70s. And a week from today on May the 16th, a big upper level low forming over the south and southeast and with a bit of a ridge over the west and that means it's going to be quite rainy across the south and up the east coast and a little bit of moisture over Colorado and while here partly mostly sunny with highs in the 70s. A couple days later on the 20th <coughs> main storm track moves well to our north and weak steering currents with some bit of a westerly flow aloft and we could see some shower and thunderstorm activity but with the weak steering currents these this storm is going to be moving fairly slow if this is right Lots of shower activity in the south with daytime heating. And this is a couple days later on the 22nd. Really, the shower and thunderstorm activity doesn't really move. And GFS is trying to paint some tropical system in the Florida Straits and Cuba. A couple days after that, at the end of the forecast on the 24th, this tropical-like system begins to run up the east coast. While we have pretty much a west-east pattern around here and... Looks quite stormy, windy, and showery and stormy over the east and a bit of the plains. and So really, some seasonal weather and a couple rain chances over the next two weeks. Thank you for tuning in to the weather forecast video. We'll have another one on Thursday.